Hey Grokites, today we're gonna grok last night's Big Bang Theory episode. I know, we did that last week, but this episode last night was too adorable for me not to wanna talk about more. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen last night's episode, don't watch this video yet. Here are my top four favorite things about last night's episode of the Big Bang Theory. Number one, Sheldon the Romantic. The birthday dinner that Sheldon plans for Amy was so, so sweet and the squealing and clapping response that I had, which was exactly what the stage direction asked for. It said squealing and clapping. That was exactly the spontaneous reaction that I thought that Amy would have. I literally just had to think about what would this be like? And that's the reaction that you see. Number two, sickness. I've been told that people were both shocked and impressed by how disgustingly sick I looked as Amy for the scenes where Amy and Sheldon have food poisoning. I've also been told that someone remarked, wow, there's an actress with no sense of vanity. And I take that as a compliment as an actor. It's true, I don't have a sense of vanity when it comes to portraying this character. If she's sick, I wanna look like Amy would look sick. In real life, I'm a real woman. I worry about what I look like, I obsess about what I look like, I spend a lot of time when I have to be in public worrying about does my hair look right, is my makeup right, do my clothes look right? But as Amy, I get to be exactly the character as she is. To get this sick look, it took a bit of makeup. Those are dark lines drawn under my eyes. That's how we make us look sick. But a lot of it is the attitude and really embracing what the makeup artist is giving you. Number three, perception. I don't know if any of you will relate to this, but when I was told that I'd be wearing like big slouchy sweats in the sick scene, I was like, great, sounds great. And when I put them on, I was like, oh, these sweats are so huge. Like I'm swimming in them. I look like those models in the lingerie catalogs who were like, mm, I'm in my slouchy sweats. But then when I saw the scene on camera the next day after we filmed it, the first thing I thought was, those sweats don't look that big on me. <laughs> it was really terrifying because my perception was that, whoa, these are so big. But in actuality, this is what my body looks like. That was me in slouchy sweats playing Amy, laying on the bed like a beached whale. And that's okay. Number four, the joy of intimacy. It's kind of a running gag now that Amy and Sheldon keep trying to have coitus once a year for the past couple years, and they keep getting interrupted. And for me, this shows how playful you are allowed to be and should be in your life with those that you are most intimate with. Sex is not always what you plan it to be. Relationships are not always what you plan them to be. But the way that our writers have found the comedy and the humanity again and again for these characters in relation to how they're intimate is so touching to me. And it really was one of my favorite things about last night's episode. I have loved the development of my character so much for all of the years that I've been on Big Bang Theory. But this past year in particular has been so much fun. I've learned so much from Amy. I've had to push past my insecurities. I love my job and I hope that you love watching all of us do our jobs on the Big Bang Theory. For more information about this episode, check out the blog that I wrote about it at groknation.com and subscribe here for more Big Bang Theory related and other related stuff. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below and see you next time.